Hey everybody, it's Daryl, and I thought we'd have a look at something new, rather than Plants vs Zombies with Kasha. I've got a game that I enjoy playing, and it's called Hand of Fate. It's a card turn-based game, where the elements that you come across are all based on random draws of the card. So I'm playing against this gentleman, and let's get stuck into it. And go. Things here are tainted. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a story mode. And the ones that are greyed out up here are the ones that I've completed. And all of these are different bosses. And so you get these big bosses. So they're, you could almost think of them as major levels. So I'm up to level 3, and I've defeated the first boss, and now we've got this boss here. So my opponent is the Queen of Plague. Negative Aura. Whenever the player has a curse, they also lose one random item. Oh, that's not good at all. Alrighty, we'll go with that one. She waits for you. Patient, but ultimately destructive ultimately destructive so we'll go to the deck builder and what we can do is we can either choose to manually build our deck or have the uh, game uh, build it randomly like uh, sorry we can manually build our card deck and choose what we want or we can have the game choose it so there's equipment on the left and encounters on the right. We've got 25 of each, which is what we're looking for, so I think we'll just go with that. And we'll start the game. So there's some curses going in, there's some enemies, there's some encounters. All the world is a game board, and us men and women merely play. There you go. So I alone do not play. I maintain the rules. Oh uh, yeah, whatever you reckon. You have choices, and I have predestination. Your choices, though, are merely a rediscovery of that which you already know. Ooh, I already know my choices. Isn't that predetermined? Anyway, so we get a shield up front, which is good, because shields help heaps. So we're going to... Oh, we've already got a shield equipped. Excellent. So we will carry that one. As pleases you. Now, on the table over there, we have a map. And so my character is in the center, and I can move the direction. So I can move one space at a time, either horizontally or vertically. So what I might do is I might go this way around, up and around, and then come and clear out the three closest to us. Now, one of the cards will actually take us to the next level down. Like, if you think of a dungeon, you can uh, think of levels in the dungeon. So our first card, Alicia in the Underworld. Ooh, a brand new one for me. I will happily wager on the outcome. As you attempt, I do not think you have what it takes. As you attempt to discover more about the bizarre portal you encountered, one name keeps recurring. A mystic named Alicia. Apparently your expertise on all aspects of shadow realms, interdimensional travel, and beasts of the void is unparalleled. So, my counterpart there will provide rewards based on achievement of the encounters. So I track Alicia's caravan. She's a fortune teller. She clears her throat. Welcome, stranger. She recalls in mock blindness. The dark clouds of fate swirl around you in a tempest. For a little gold, I can help you see your future through the storm. Alrighty, in the bottom left, we have the score, pretty much. We have health, currently 100 out of 100. Above that we have food, I have 24 food, and each step is one piece of food. So I need to make sure I don't run out of food, or else Come I start now, losing health. We don't have forever. Okay, I'm just explaining the game. And then above that we have gold, so I have 10 gold, and it looks as though Alicia's looking for gold. Do I want to be told my fortune? Uh, or a fuse? Let's find out our fortune, hey? Oh, okay. So now it's... 
Okay, now it's random because there's three a failure choice. cards. Select your desire. And one huge success card. So I've got a one in four chance of actually coming out of this positively. Well, that didn't work. You detect a hint of disappointment. A chance meeting opens new doors to success and prosperity. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that again. I'm... Oh, let's find out about the underworld. The mystic looks around nervously before saying, Now, what makes you think that I'd know anything about such things? I am but a humble fortune teller. Can I not interest you in such services? Nah, go away. You decide not to pay. And so he keeps his little reward and I get to keep moving on. Except now I've got three gold less. Awesome. Oh, I get shown the rest of the... So now I can see where everything is. Okay, now coming this way, that's the exit. And I've got a charm on at the moment that shows me where everything is before I leave. Do I want to leave? I think no, I'll stick around. I'm not going to go down. So we'll turn back and check out more of this higher level. So let's go to this one. The Travelling Mage. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a travelling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Do we want to buy or pass it by? I don't have much gold at the moment and I've got enough food, so I'm just going to pass it by, I think. And we'll move on. So now I come back to where I started. Uh, let's go this way. Metal ore. I do wonder how much time you spent simply chasing down blind alleys. As you traverse a particularly tricky trail across a mountain ridge, you notice a dark ravine beneath you. Something glitters in the dim sunlight that reaches the base of the cavern. I'm going to go check it out. You find the old remains of a wooden cart, apparently having fallen down years ago. You find nothing of worth except a chunk of glittering metallic ore. It might not sell for much in its current state, perhaps you can find someone that can use it. You make your way back up to the path. Hmm, that's interesting. Mr. Lionel, now this is a common character. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at a local tavern, a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention and you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with his wizarding wand of my own creation. He cackles uncontrollably and then waits for my answer. So I can give him the food that I'm eating, which will probably take away one food. Mm, not liking that. Give him 20 gold or ask him what he needs. Actually, I don't have 20 gold, so I can't give him that. Ask him what he needs or ignore. So I'm going to ask him what he needs. Begins to wander around your person, prodding and poking at your weapons and apparel, apparel before making a sudden... Oh no, he's going to take something. What did he take? Ah. Uh, he then sits considering you for a while before slapping the table with his hand. Aha, I know what you need. Reaches behind your ear and pulls out a money bag, heavy with coins. Magic is believing in yourself. If you can do that, you can make anything happen. Okay, so I'm going to get some gold, but I lost a piece of equipment by the looks of it. So let's see what gold I get. Oh, 15 gold. That's a good one. I'm sure you're grateful for that. 30 gold. 30 gold. Ah, oh, now we're in the money. Now we can get some more weapons. Excellent. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to check... Whoops, not that button. This button. So, I have light armor. I have an axe. I don't have any gloves equipped at the moment. I have trinkets. What's the trinket I have? Oh, the Ring of Hindsight. 
all encounter cards are revealed upon reaching the next stairs. So you know how we got to the end and then everything showed? That's that ring. We then have nothing as an artifact. We have our shield, which is good. I don't want to lose our shield. Uh, that's what he took. He took our helm. Uh, and we have a curse at the moment, which is that negative aura that we got at the start of the game. So he decided he wanted our helmet. Ah, oh, well. Uh, let's go this way. The Maiden. One day in a shady forest you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Mareth of the Forest Folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Longer life, supplies, gold, or to be blessed? Well, I don't need gold at the moment. Um, food would be good. Or I could get a higher health score. So you can go over 100. Um, or I can ask to be blessed, which could be good or it could not be. Let's go for longer life. As you with wish. <laughs> Merith mutters and waves a hand. A light shines from your skin and I get two max health gain cards. Plus 15%. If you gain health, then I work harder to take it. Okay, fair enough. So now I'm at 115. And plus 5. So now I'm at 120 maximum health. Which is good. The elders of our kind often say that we must retread paths we once took in order to gain an advantage on the present. Farewell, mortal. Fickle. Okay, now we have to spend some food going back over where we've been, and then we get another new card here. The Lovers. In the town of Stiegel, you meet a man who is serenading a young lady at her window. At your approach, he stops and turns to speak to you. My love and I wish to marry and leave this town, but her father has forbidden it. He is the master of the guild, a powerful figure in Stiegel, with many armed men at his command. I saw you fighting in the arenas. Please, will you help us to escape the town that we might live together in happiness? Do I help them? Do I demand gold for helping them? Do I refuse to get involved? Or go and tell the father? Oh, scruples? Um, okay, let's help them. Bless you, stranger. Meet us back here at midnight and bring whatever weapons you possess. Okay. But I get a blessing. Will of the gods. The gods look upon you favorably. At the start of each combat, a random opponent is highlighted. If that creature is the first to die, then it pops out five gold, which the player may collect. Okay, that's not bad. It's not awesome, but it's not bad. Hours later, you return to find the young couple hiding in the shadows, gesturing to them to be silent. You lead the way through the town. Oh, oh. success, failure, failure, or huge failure. Why not huge success? Okay, let's go this first one again. Success! Keeping to the back alleyways, you manage to reach the outskirts without incident. Thank you, stranger, the couple exclaim as they flee into the countryside. Huh? Okay. Not much reward there. Now we've got some gold. Let's go and visit the shop. Greetings, wise traveller. I have much to offer you. We're lucky this first level we haven't had any encounters. Uh, well, battle encounters. So we can buy items, we can sell items, or buy food. We have 97 gold. Let's see what items we've got that we can sell. So we've got our shield, we got our axe, we have our ring of hindsight, which I'm not getting rid of, and we've got a spare shield. I might just keep that in case someone decides they want my shields. Okay. Let's see what we can buy, because I don't have a helm at the moment. Oh, hands antlers. Lizardmen take double damage from the player's attacks. Alchemical silver. Press right bumper to attack faster with each successful strike. The longer your combo, the more explosive the reaction. We have another ring. While all dragon relics are equipped, receive plus 50% max health. Plus 50% max health. And full healing after every combat. I 
don't know that I have any dragon relics. And then Damocles. During combat, press the right button to throw knives in eight cardinal directions. That's pretty good, but it's 39. I really want to get a helm, get some more health. It's only really super against Lizardmen, but we're going to get that. A tool with a very specific but useful purpose. Uh, not much use if you're not facing lizards, yes. though, eh? Hey? <laughs> uh, sorry. Yeah. That struck me as funny. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough, senor. Um, let's get some more food. We'll see how much it is. Oh, $6 for one food? That's not very good at all. Alrighty, let's get out of here.